It's called an endoscopic endonasal approach, and as complex as brain surgery can be, this approach is fairly straightforward. To get to tumors and lesions at the base of the skull, doctors are performing surgery through the nose, and by doing so, sparing their patients considerable pain and recovery. You're avoiding incisions in the face, uh, patients tend to heal fast and to recover fast as well. So most of the time patients are discharged earlier in comparison to the standard approaches. Dr. Daniel Prevedello is a brain surgeon at Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital and one of the world's leading experts in endonasal surgery. Normally, he says, a patient's face would be cut open or even peeled back to get to the tumor, but not with this technique. Using tiny surgical instruments, a brain surgeon works in one nostril and an ear, nose and throat surgeon works in the other. And with high definition cameras and high tech equipment similar to a GPS map of the brain, they find and remove the tumors all through the patient's nose. For some tumors, we do have to remove them piecemeal through the nostril. We tend to try not to do that as much as possible. Uh, but all of the lesion or the tumor we remove is removed through the nostril without any incisions in the face. It was the perfect option for Trisha Wharton. She was eight months pregnant when her brain tumor was discovered. So in the span of a week, doctors delivered her baby and removed her tumor. And because she healed so quickly, Trisha could spend time taking care of her baby and not just herself. Things are going great. We're um, three weeks after surgery now and um, our life is pretty much back to normal. Um, I'm able to do almost everything I can do before. All thanks to an approach to surgery some may never have thought possible. At Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.